Hey, this is Brandon. And this is Swain. You're listening to the Anvil and the Hammer podcast, pounding out the best in Christian rock, hard rock, and heavy metal. Hey, Wayne, this is uh, the introduction to the Anvil and the Hammer podcast. And in this podcast, your hosts, Brandon and Wayne, we're going to give you the 411 on what this podcast is all about. One of the goals and objectives of the Anvil and the Hammer is to bring the best music to you, to the listeners. We know that sometimes it's hard to find the music that's out there. Wayne, can you give a few words of encouragement here to the listeners? Guys, this is what we're doing with this podcast. We want to bring the best Christian music to y'all. And the thing is, you can listen to a radio station, but usually what you're going to hear is you're going to hear something that would be on the softer side. We grew up with on the harder side, harder side of rock, the dark side of rock. <laughs> we wanted to bring something that you'd pound your fist with that would really get you going in the morning. So we wanted, but we wanted to bring yeah, something something like Demon Hunter, something like that, or or the Showdown, which I'm really pumped up about because they sound a lot like things that I grew up with, with some Metallica influences, Van Halen influences, solos, things like that. The reason why we're doing alternative hard rock to heavy metal is to give a broad spectrum, and just because you might not like one episode doesn't mean you're not going necessarily that you won't like the next one. So if you don't like an episode, if it's something on punk rock, let's say, skip that one, go to the next one. It might be a heavy metal one. That's our deal. We, we don't want to just stay with one venue. The thing is, is a lot of this is not getting any kind of airplay. Yeah, because yeah, the, uh, man, the man does not want you to hear this stuff. <laughs> exactly. Regular commercial rock. It's all out there, but for a Christian hard rock to heavy metal, it, there's just not a venue for it. So, Brandon, just tell the fans what they can expect. Wayne, hey, thanks for kicking it back over to me. One of the things that we're also going to do is interview people that are important to music, not only the artists themselves. We're going to look at people like Logan from The Logan Show and Kayla from Sirius Satellite Radio who hosts the program Spirit Rocks every Friday night at midnight Eastern time. So if you have Sirius Radio, you definitely want to check this, this program out because they play all the bands like Kids in the Way, Cutlass, Manic Drive, Red, Seventh Day Slumber. The list goes on and on. This is where you're going to find the hard music on Sirius Satellite Radio. So we're going to talk to Kayla a few episodes, and you're going to be able to uh, to hear all about that. The second thing is we're going to get the testimonies from these bands. So you can hear where fans such as yourself were impacted by their music or if they've got an email or, or if they want to share their personal story with you. This, we give them an opportunity to do that. Wayne, what else are we about, Wayne? Here's the thing. We are about the fans, about the bands bringing the artists to you, the listener. We're doing it for the Christian music world. It, there's, Like I said, there's a broad spectrum that's not being played out there. And two, if you are an artist that's listened to us that you're not getting any airplay or you want to send us some CDs to review, what we need is your demos, the lyrics to the album, and then, of course, how do you buy the album? Where do you find it? So we'll have a P.O. box address on our website that you can go to that you can find and and send it to us but we're looking for oh, don't forget the show notes it will be in the show notes exactly in the show notes for the new music current stuff that might not come out yet that you want to get some publicity for we'd be happy to review those current bands and existing bands that like i said that haven't got any airplay that you want to get known We'll put it out there for you. We, we expect to get a big fan base in the future from doing reviews of different artists and their fans. So it, this podcast will just grow and grow. That's all what it's all about. And I would really like to have some Swedish metal bands send some CDs. Absolutely, man. And you know, and that and that's one of the things we want to talk about is this we're just not talking, you know, just music in the United States. If you're traveling to Australia or somewhere and you hear a good tune, man, you know, send it back to us. Let us check it out because – because, again, we love to hear new music. It's what it's all about. Hey, going back to getting the testimonies, getting the interviews and reviewing the CDs, we just wanted to talk about some of the guys that are out there that you talked about bands such as Striper. And Striper's been around a long time. They're actually the first CD came out in, I think it was 1984. So they've been uh, playing music for a long time. And it's one of those things where you, you talk about the talent level in these Christian bands. People make fun of Striper and say, oh, Striper, you know. I personally didn't find out about Striper until I went to college. So I was digging tracks like Soldiers Under Command, To Hell With The Devil, and some of those tracks. I was like, man, where have these guys been? Because certainly they had the potential to be one of the biggest 
secular bands of all time. Don't you think, Wayne? I mean, the guy's got a great voice. What do you say, Wayne? Well, I'm mean, all the way around. The band is great. Solos are great. Now, when I went, when I was in high school, I have to say that. Striper was kind of pushed to the side as far as us metalheads were concerned. We liked our Dio and our Ozzy and all that kind of stuff. Looking back at it, they stuck to their guns about what they wanted to do as far as being a Christian band. And you have to give hats off to them because there wasn't very many out there. Probably until about 1989, some other metal bands like White Cross, kind of after the hair metal scene was over and then the new the new alternative wave was coming and even though now it's like we just believe that hard the hard rock of christian christian hard rock is is here just ready to branch out into a whole new dimension and we want to be part of it we want to bring that to the listeners uh, right on man looking at it's also speaking about striper you know so you may not know they put out an album in 2005 called reborn so at some point, we may, we may go back and uh, revisit that album and check that out as well. Another band I want to talk about is some of these Christian bands, you may not know, these guys are so mainstream that you might not even realize that David Mustaine was written up in CCM Magazine about him and his Christianity, as well as bands like Flyleaf. There's some mainstream acts that are out there that, that you may not know just by, obviously, some of their lyrics pretty pretty cut at you like Cassie by Flyleaf, which we'll talk about in later episodes. But you also have bands like the showdown and you've got to give these guys mad props because they're out there singing to people that are tough to reach they're at Ozfest, and these guys are out there they don't i was reading in a hm magazine stands for hard music magazine they, they did a review of one of their shows in Ozfest, and these guys are out there getting a 20 minute set and if you have not heard the showdown which we're, we got a review of them coming up you definitely need to hear them and i guarantee you that 20 minutes for them does not even begin to showcase their talent level Oh, definitely. I mean, this last album that they did hit right hit right through my soul. So uh, I can just imagine what they're going to do in the future. Absolutely. Well, that about wraps it up for the introduction of the Anvil and the Hammer. This, all these things we talk about, we've got some email addresses up there. If you want to drop us a line, they're all in the show notes. We got a, Wayne's taking care of our MySpace page, so he's all about that kind of stuff. Anything you want to add, Wayne? Yeah, there is a little something. We need to give them some names of who they can expect, give them a real good feel for what we're all about and who we're going to be bringing. To the you, you're talking about bands like Day of Fire? Yep, like uh, December Radio. Bands you may not have heard about like DeLorean Gray. Demon Hunter. Disciple. Fireflight. Jonah 33. Kids in the Way. Cutlass. MXPX. Manic Drive, P.O.D., Pillar, Poor Man's Riches, Project 86, now this is one I really like, Red, Seventh Day Slumber, Skillet, Striper, Twelve Stones, Thousand Foot Crutch, The Showdown, and everybody's favorite, Flyleaf. So again, if you guys know of or are a Christian alternative rock, hard rock, or heavy metal, and maybe even a ska band, we want to hear from you. Anvil and the Hammer. We're out.